ready for another day of champion training. Me, me, me. Are all of you out there watching ready too? All right, champions, let's get ready to serve like a champ. Serve like a champ. All right, everybody, let's line up and get ready for our champion warm-ups. That means you too. Let's get up on our feet. Coach, can I use the cans I brought today to donate for warm-ups? Sure, Parker. Later today, we'll be completing a super fun obstacle course. You could be jumping. You could be spinning in a circle. And you might even have to skip backwards. So let's get ready and start our warm-ups. Alrighty, let's start by hopping on our right foot five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's switch and hop on the other foot for the five times. One, two, three, four, five. How are you doing, team? Don't stop now. Now we're gonna do three arm curls, all right? This is gonna be tricky. One, two, three. All right, now we're gonna walk it backwards, but make sure you don't run into anything. One, two, three. Now we're gonna walk forwards. One, two, three. Now spin in a circle. Now spin in a circle the opposite direction. Oh no, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> well, great job team. Today we're going to be training to serve like a champ. Say that with me. Serve, serve like, like a champ. champ. That's right team. God wants each of you to serve other people. I am ready to be served. I hope they're serving hamburgers or even chocolate ice cream. What do you guys want? Oh, Parker, that's not actually the type of serving I'm talking about. You see, today we're going to be learning how we can serve other people. You know, when they're sad or when they just need our help. So no ice cream? No, no ice cream. But, you know, let's take a look at our Bible story video and see what we can learn from a boy who gave away his lunch. Jesus traveled from town to town. He taught about God's love and healed sick people. He had friends, the disciples, who traveled with him. Once, Jesus was teaching a huge crowd, over 5,000 people. After a long day together, everyone got really hungry, but there was nowhere to get food and it didn't look like anyone had brought food along. Then from the crowd, a small bit of food was shared. The other gospels tell us a kid shared this food. Jesus asked the crowd to sit down on the grass like a picnic. Then he took the little meal, lifted it up towards God, and said a prayer of thanks. He gave the pieces of food to his disciples for them to share with the huge crowd. As the disciples passed out the food, something amazing happened. No matter how much food they gave to the crowd, the baskets never ran out. It was a miracle. Everyone was amazed. All right, I think I get it. When you serve people, it's like help, it's like setting a table for your mom. That's serving. Or when you bring canned goods to donate to those who are hungry. That's also serving. That's right, Parker. God wants us to go out and help and serve other people, just like the little boy did in our story today, when he shared his lunch with 5,000 other people. That was a really good story. So what's in our orange bag today? Well, we've already talked about the super fun obstacle course we'll get to go over later. And we're going to be doing a super cool experiment, one that involves milk and pepper. <laughs> Bless you. Cool. That's going to be so much fun. And we're going to be donating canned goods, and we're going to be making our own canned good labels to put on them. I think I kind of like this serving thing, Coach. Well, that's good, team. So, everybody, let's get on our feet. All right. So you know what time it is. It's time for our champion team cheer. Repeat after me. I am a champ. I am a champ. God made me. God made me. Here's how I train. Here's how I train. Come along and see. Come along and see. Now bring it in. All right, hands in. On the count of three, we're going to say, live like a champ. Ready? One, two, three. Live like a champ. All right, let's see what we're going to bring in. 